Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com, and I'm talking about opening to oneness. I've just read an amazing book by Larry Dossey called One Mind, and it reminds me very much of a poem by the poet Rumi, who spoke of the fact that we are in our bodies the way plants are rooted in the soil, yet we are also the wind. And recognizing that we have these capabilities to be much, much more than just what we think of as a central aspect, not just to spirituality and what's often referred to as a perennial philosophy, uniting all of the great religions and spiritual paths from the world, but it's also the concept that Larry Dossey refers to when he describes how our individual mind is part of a greater consciousness and why it matters. And this book is amazing. I really appreciated it quite a bit because it shares first-hand experiences from people who have been involved in amazing experiences that there's just no way to explain unless there is some kind of a unified consciousness or oneness of mind uniting not just people across a wide variety of different cultures, but also animals. And I think a lot of us relate to animals very well. I love the stories especially that Dr. Dossie shares about how he was writing the book and he looks out the window and he sees a coyote looking back at him. And he sees a bobcat, a wild mountain lion, looking back at him. And these are remarkable experiences that were quite unusual for him as he was writing the book. But it also mirrors the kind of stories that are in the book itself about the way animals will save each other um, across species. They will rescue each other. Um, There are such things as rats that have empathy for one another and help spring each other out of jail, (laughs) which is a concept I've spoken about before and I love very much. And not just that, but also twins that live their lives separated from birth very much the same as they would, making very similar choices as if the whole time they've been united. And it, it's this the way I talk about this book when I try to tell people about it is that describing the one mind is like describing the biggest elephant you've ever seen. It's so big, you can't quite comprehend the whole thing. And if you've heard the story about the, the blind men and the elephant, then you know where I'm going with this. Uh, you'll have experiences with some people where they'll feel that elephant, that one mind concept, and they'll feel like they've got something that's very much like a rope. And someone else will say, no, 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 it's not like a rope. It's like the trunk of a tree. So depending on where and what a person is experiencing with this one mind, oneness phenomenon, it can feel very different. Yet it's the whole thing. And that, to me, is extraordinary. And so what I mean by this is when you experience the one mind in the sense of witnessing what can only be called miraculous healings, spontaneous remission, These are just remarkable experiences that people often encounter. Or telepathy, or just being rescued, having people show up right when you need them. Animals being there for other species, as well as humans. Then these are the kind of things that you'll enjoy as much as I do. So I highly recommend this book for anybody that has a feeling that there is this sense of oneness that we can all open up to and that it's well within our grasp, that people have been experiencing it for centuries, and that there's a lot to explore. Not just the personal stories and first-hand accounts, but also the science behind it. So this is something you can also experience in meditation. And if you just close your eyes for a moment, we'll do a quick oneness meditation. Just close your eyes and breathe deeply. Imagine that you are, right now, much more than just your physical self that you are connected to all that is, that you have an amazing ability just to expand, 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 and feel a oneness with the air around you, with the trees and the sky around you, with the earth around you. And that as you expand your sense of who you are, rather than losing yourself, you're gaining parts of yourself that you've long forgotten. You can open your eyes. And until next time, keep asking, how good can it get? This is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com.